In this tutorial, we will be making a drop down using just JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. We will first create our HTML and CSS and do the JavaScript at the end to toggle between two different, different classes when we click an element on the page. The code is in the description. Let's get to it. Okay, let's begin by making our files. First, we will make our app.js file. Then we'll make our index.html file. And lastly, our app.css file. Let's begin with our HTML. We'll begin by creating our boilerplate code that we usually make using this tab. Then we get this uh, boilerplate code with the HTML uh, surrounding the body tags and the head tags with some uh, preset values here. Let's begin here by just calling this drop down. We will link to our style sheet using the link tag and in the href uh, property we will the correct uh, uh, route for our uh, CSS file, which is this one. At the bottom of our uh, body tag, let's create a script tag with the source property. And the same thing here, only this time it's connected to the app.js file. So now we've connected both our uh, app.js file, our JavaScript, and our CSS to this. Uh, HTML document. Now let's begin typing out just save to format uh, and then uh, let's type out uh, the structure of this uh, this drop down. First we will have a surrounding wrapper tag just uh, to have some more flexibility. Then we will create a class called drop down container and inside here we'll have an h2 element that will function as the part where you click to get the drop down to actually do the behavior of dropping down the elements click me for drop down like so and then here is where our list will go uh, our list uh, is the actual uh, uh, parts of the the drop down uh, what the drop down actually consists of rather so an unordered list we will hide this by default so the first time you render the page you won't see this list you have to click the click me drop down Click me for the drop down H2 tag to actually get uh, to see the drop down. So we'll call this hidden list. So by default, it's hidden. We'll also give it an ID of drop down list. Inside here, we will have some elements, li tags. List elements, and we'll call this, give it a class of drop down element. Down element, like so. And let's just copy that three, two times more. So we have three elements. And inside the tag, be, uh, between the tag, just le let's just say test one, two, three. Like so. So now I have opened the index.html file in my browser, and this is what we can uh, see. So no styling yet, no JavaScript. The elements just appear as if uh, we haven't uh, given them any conditions to do anything else. So we need to first add some styling and then use JavaScript to toggle that styling so we get the, the correct behavior. So let's head over to our uh, code editor again and then our app.css app rather and let's create some styles first we'll just 
create the HTML and body styles just to give um, give it a little less of a default feeling by changing the background color and uh, the font so something like this and then the font I always go for this one but feel free to do whatever you like like so so this is the basic uh, basic styling for our HTML document we refresh and then we see the font uh, changed and a little less of uh, a white background so let's continue with our uh, outermost tag the wrapper tag or the wrapper class rather give it a display of flex make it a flex item and then justify content center to center it on the page take a look at that so now we have everything centered let's do the uh, drop down container which is this element i'll just copy it period and then the name followed by brackets make that a flex element as well we will change the direction to be column because we want it to stack on top of each other and then we want to align the items to the center to get uh, everything centered uh, on the horizontal axis uh, yes and then let's change the id title i am unsure if i wrote that no i did not let's just give it an id of title here and then we can style this we'll take away the margin bottom so we don't get the the space uh, in between between the bottom and the list we'll make the cursor pointer so we have this pointy finger and when we hover over our element text align center we want text to be centered and just give it a width of something reasonable like the 300 pixels let's also attach a hover effect on this just to show the user that something is acknowledging uh, the element being hovered upon usually uh, nice for buttons and so on but uh, could work yeah, just as well for nav bars and and things with the drop downs in them so we'll say bar, border bottom one pixel solid black like so let's take a look at that no now we get the border and the border underneath here and this is centered let's do uh the one called I haven't actually attached that either so I need to attach uh, that's uh, not correct I am just gonna make we're gonna toggle on this style called visible list because by default it's hidden so we need to have something that actually shows it so just make it a flex item like everything else almost set the direction to column we'll put the height to auto so we can add more elements if we want to now we just added three but we could add more and it will still fit we'll say it with 200 pixels and then a background color of white and then we'll remove the margin and the padding 
so it's right uh, close to the left because you get some default padding there in lists and then list style none we want to remove the little dots in the list and let's just give it a box shadow just to make it a little more style styled give it some depth depth and just some gray color there and you can still not see that because that style is not attached yet we need to add some javascript to be able to toggle that on this hidden list style is what is uh, uh, the default styling which is display none and that what that does is basically what it says it display displays nothing so it hi hides its content so as we can see here its class it's is a hidden list so by default this is the styling for the entire list and let's just attach in the uh in the end here um drop down element style for that as well we'll just change the font size to 18 pixels add some padding pixels. font weight make it bold border bottom so it's uh, a little uh, a little line underneath each element solid and then a gray color there so now it's hidden so when i click nothing happens because we haven't added the javascript yet so that's uh, that is what we're going to do now so now we have at attached all our styles what we're missing is our javascript to be able to toggle between our uh, most important classes which is this hidden list class and our visible list class we need to toggle between those to get the effect of clicking the element and showing list and clicking again to remove it or toggle it off rather so let's just create a variable called drop down title which is the, which is the element we are going to click get element by id and it's called title and then we'll create another uh, variable called list and this is same syntax get element by id and it's called drop down list i suppose drop down list yes so this is the same element this is the element we're gonna uh, toggle uh, toggle on so we need to make a variable for that and then we'll just create a click uh, click uh, event listener so drop down uh, or uh, uh, drop down title yes click and then add event listener this takes click as a string here followed by a callback function and inside here we will just say console log click first just to make sure that it works over to the browser in our console let's click it and we see click. so this uh, this works correctly now let's actually toggle between our styles we'll say list uh, uh, we're taking our variable here and then we're saying class list then we can add and remove and toggle different styles on that element so let's say toggle which is a 
function on available for class lists you can see here so in the parentheses we will say visible lists this is the um, class we want to toggle on and now we need to have the list that we need to toggle off so exact same syntax class list dot toggle and the default class is hidden list so hidden list gets toggled off visible list gets toggled on and uh, the opposite when we want to remove uh, the drop down so let's take a look at this in the browser let's refresh i click and then we see our drop down i click again and it gets removed so this is basically what we're going after here if you want the drop down to actually appear at the start here not at the center you can just go into your style sheet on the drop down container class and on the align items uh, uh, part you just say flex start and by doing this you can get the drop down to the left here instead of the center this can look a little more natural uh, in some cases but uh, that totally depends upon what uh, what your preference is thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe for more and see you in the next one